hi guys welcome to my channel so in today's video i'll be creating this super glittery glam warm toned festive makeup look and also this is a one brand makeup look using only pack cosmetics uh, so this is a full face of glam makeup look that i have created using only pack products so if you want to know how i achieved this ultra glam festive makeup look then please do continue watching So first thing first, to moisturize my skin, I'm using the Aqua Blast um, water-based moisturizer from them. I really enjoyed using this moisturizer. It was very, very light and comfortable on the skin. And as it is water-based, it blended so beautifully and my skin really soaked it up very, very well. Once that is done, I'm going to take this eyebrow kit from PAC which also comes with a spoolie and an angled brush, um, basically like a dual ended brush. So I'm picking up this very ashy dark brown shade and I'm going to use the spoolie end to sort of comb through my eyebrows first and then I'm going to use the powder to fill in my eyebrows and to give it a nice shape. This is a very very quick and effective product to use on your eyebrows. It just fills in all the gaps so nicely. Even if you're a beginner, it would be really really easy for you to use. So that's what I'm doing here. Then I'm taking my Pack Take Cover Concealer in the shade Spiced Sand which is a couple of shades lighter than my complexion so I'm using that as a base for my eyeshadow on top of my eyelids as well as to clean under the bottom area of my eyebrows like I usually do. To blend it out, I'm using the Pack 219 Concealer Blending Brush, which is my absolute favorite brush to blend any concealer. For eyeshadow, I'm taking their Ultimate uh, Luxury Shadow Box. This is an electric eyeshadow palette from them. Uh, I'll put the exact name in the description box. So I'm going to first pick up this neon orange matte eyeshadow on a blending brush and apply that all over the crease and blend it out up towards the eyebrow region. I'm going to build the color up quite a bit and adding it in layers. Then I'm going to take a more tangerine orange eyeshadow, which is again matte, on a tiny little tapered brush from Pack and apply that very precisely on the crease, sort of intensifying the crease area because I'm going for a, a semi-cut crease look. For a darker brown eyeshadow, I'm dipping my brush into this dark brown eyebrow powder from the brow kit. I'm taking that on the angled brush that comes along with the kit and sort of uh, carving out my crease. And then I'm going to use a very very tiny little pencil brush to smudge off the dark brown on the crease to make it look more softened out. I'm taking the same concealer again on a concealer brush and trying to clean up the crease area slowly and gently to create that empty space. So this is a step you need to take your time and do it nicely and precisely. Again, I'm going to dip in my brush into the same tangerine orange matte eyeshadow and applying that to the outer corners of my eyes and making sure that the edges are well blended.
Then I'm going to take a black from the eyebrow kit itself on a pencil brush and trying to make my eye makeup look more smoky at the outer V of my eyes. So I'm just applying and blending as I go. Then I took the Sparkly Distraction Eye Primer from Pack. This is an excellent product from Pack, I must admit. Um, so I'm just applying a little bit of that on both of my eyelids. I did the cut crease and using my ring finger to sort of spread the product out. Uh, because I'm going to lay out a glitter on top of this, I wanted to apply a glitter primer so that the glitter holds on to the eyelids and we do not have too much of fallouts. I love using this primer underneath any eyeshadow as well to make it look more popping. So I'm taking this gorgeous um, sort of like a warm toned glitter, although it looks uh, cool toned in the pan. Once I applied it onto the eyes, it was a bit more on the warmer side and look how glitzy and glam this glitter is. I absolutely loved it. It's a very, very high shine um, glitter and though it is very um, sparkly on the eyes, it did not feel chunky at all. It was very, very comfortable. Moving on to the face, I'm going to prime my face using the Pore Primer. This was also a very, very nice product, especially if you have oily skin and porous texture onto the cheeks, just like I do, then I think you will really, really like this product. It really smoothened out my skin and filled in all of my pores to create that soft, even surface on the skin. Uh, now to color correct, I'm taking the Take Cover Concealer in the shade Rusty Orange. This is again one of my favorite orange color correctors from Pack. I always reach out to this one. So I'm using that to color correct all of my hyper pigmented areas on my face like I usually do. So that is on the dark circles, around the mouth as well as on top of my acne spots and blending it out using a damp beauty blender because it is very necessary that you blend out your orange color corrector otherwise the layers that you apply on top will definitely get cakey. For foundation, I'm using their HD Liquid Foundation in the shade 4.5. This is a very nice satin finish foundation. Uh, regardless of skin types, um, this works on all skin types. So um, yeah, I'm just applying that all over the face in a dotted way and then blending it out using another favorite brush from Pack. This is their 231 Buffing Brush. So I'm just using that to blend the foundation. I'm also adding a bit of a second layer wherever I need some extra coverage. To conceal my under eyes, I'm using the same Spice Sand Concealer and applying that to the under eyes um, as well as to highlight the center of my face as well. Then I'm blending the concealer again using the 219 Concealer Blending Brush. This is a must-have brush from Pack. It is amazing. To set and bake, I'm using their Translucent Powder in the shade 05, which is very, very close to my skin tone. So I'm just um, applying a little bit to bake underneath my eyes. Once the baking is being processed, I'm going to finish off the eye makeup. For that, I'm taking their Stay Forever Dark Shadow Gel Eye Pencil and apply that to my lower waterline and lower lash line. This is again a very nice jet black um, coal pencil and it is also self-setting and long-lasting as well on the eyes. Again, I'm going to pick up the Tangerine Orange eyeshadow from the same electric palette and apply that um, to sort of smudge the kajal on my lower lash line using a tapered blending brush to give it a softened and smoked out look. Once that is done, I'm just going to brush off all of the excess powder away from the under eyes as well as using a light layer of the same powder to set the rest of the face as well.
for mascara i'm using their volume blast mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes um this is a decent mascara i wasn't really that overwhelmed by it it's okay -ish. so that's what i'm applying to my lashes To contour my face, I'm using the eyebrow kit again, mixing those two shades from the palette and using that to chisel my features out such as the hollows of the cheeks, the perimeters of my forehead, the jawline, the sides of the nose as well. Um, this eyebrow kit came in very very handy, I must say. For blusher, I'm using their Studio Blusher. This is a matte finish blusher in the shade 21, which is a very beautiful salmon peachy shade. And it went very beautifully with the makeup that I created. So I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and sort of blending it up towards the contour area. And it's very nice. It's a satin blush. It has very decent pigmentation and it is very beautiful on the cheeks. For highlighter, I'm using their Baked Highlighter in the shade 02 Iconic, which is a very, very pale golden um, highlighter. It is extremely finely milled and extremely pigmented, so a little bit goes a long, long way. So I'm just popping that to the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, and also to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. I absolutely loved this highlighter it is so gorgeous on the skin it doesn't really emphasize any texture for lip liner i'm using their uh, chocolate brown lip liner so i'm just going to use that to sort of overdraw my lips this is not a very pigmented sort of a lip liner so yeah not the best uh, but yeah this is what i have from pack so that's what i'm going to use For lipstick, I'm using their Retro Matte Gloss in the shade Nutty Doodle, which is a beautiful, peachy, warm, nude, liquid lipstick. So I'm just applying that to my entire lips. And it is very, very comfortable as well on the lips. Once it is dry, it is completely non-transfer proof and budge proof. So even if you wear a mask, this would absolutely work fine. I also added a pair of false eyelashes. This is the M72 eyelash. I also use their eyelash glue to apply it off camera. And this is one of my most favorite eyelash style from PAC. It is very, very beautiful, um, especially for Indian looks. I absolutely love this. To set everything in place, I'm using the Micro Finish Makeup Fixer. This is a product that I was really, really overwhelmed from pack. Absolutely fell in love. It is so, so fine, the mist, and it just sets the makeup so beautifully and meshes the entire makeup and skin into one. I absolutely loved it. So this is the final finished look, which is very glam, glitzy and glittery uh, for the festive season and very warm toned as well. So it would work across skin tones and also it is only using all pack cosmetics. I have been waiting to create a pack makeup look. So here you go. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, all the products that I use in this video will be listed in the description box. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. Also follow me on my Instagram, I'll put the link in the description box. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!